Thank you, Senators. You may resume your places. Senator Watt. Thank you, Clark. Noting that the office of the President has become vacant, I move that Senator Lyons take the chair of the Senate as President. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are there any further nominations? Senator Waters. I move that First Nations woman Green Senator Dorinda Cox take the chair of the Senate as President. Yeah. 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 There being two nominations, unless there are any further nominations, there being two nominations, I invite Senator Hanson. Glenn Stirl. In order to do that, because the standing orders require that uh, you nominate a senator who is present. But thank you. Um, I invite the two candidates to address the Senate. Senator Lyons. Thank you, uh, Clark. And uh, senators, I'm seeking your support today to be the president of the Senate. And if you bestow that honour on me, I will certainly carry out my jobs, uh, the job of president, the role of president, in an impartial way. I have, have had a long apprenticeship as deputy, so most of you I know, and I look forward to getting the new senators, and uh, I look forward to you putting your uh, trust and support in me. Thank you. Senator Cox. I submit myself to the will of the Senate. Uh, never in this country's colonised history has a First Nations person ever been appointed as the president of the Senate. At a time when more First Nations representation is here in the 47th Parliament than ever before, it's now our chance to take that further step and realise the full ambition of our First Nations parliamentarians. In May, across this country, Australians told us that they wished to see a different parliament. They made it clear that their parliamentarians don't just talk about their communities, but they should also look like them, they should sound like them, and they should be from those communities. This morning, each of you were welcome to country and with an expectation that we will actually set ourselves on the right path and begin a new legacy together of truth-telling, accountability, of treaty and of justice. I thank the Australian Greens party room for this important and very history-making nomination and I thank you all for your support. Yeah. A ballot will now be held. Uh, to elect a president. Before proceeding to a ballot, the bells will be rung for four minutes.
Senators, the Senate will now proceed to a ballot. Please write on the ballot paper the name of the candidate you wish to vote for. Uh, the candidates are Senator Lyons and Senator Cox. All senators have voted. The ballot papers will now be collected. Show you the open.
I just double check senators have all senators returned their ballot papers? Thank you. I invite Senator Urquhart and Senator McKim to act as scrutineers. Order. Senators, I announce the result of the ballot as follows. Informal, two votes. Senator Cox, 12 votes. 
Senator Lyons, 54 votes. Yeah. Order, order. Senator Lyons is therefore elected President of the Senate in accordance with the standing orders. You escorted. Thank you very much, Senators, for the honour and privilege bestowed on me here today. I'll do my utmost to be a fair and consultative president. I want to acknowledge uh, outgoing President um, Senator Slade Brockman and thank him for being collegiate and for including me in lots of uh, his duties. And, um, I wish him well and I look forward to working in a similar man manner with the deputy. Thank you, Senator Cox, for the participation in the ballot today. It is always good to see democratic processes in place, um, and I thank all senators uh, for that honour today of um, electing me as the president. Senator Wong. Thank you, President, and I rise on behalf of the government to congratulate you on your election as president of the Senate. Uh, and at the outset, I note the long-standing convention that the government of the day has the right to nominate the president of the Senate, and I thank the chamber for its continued respect of this convention. Uh, in, in making this nomination, the government has nominated a senator uh, who is appropriately qualified and suited to the significant responsibility that comes with occupying the chair of the Senate as president. As people know, Senator Lyons has served the chamber since 2013 as deputy president and chair of committee since 2016. And I have no, no doubt that her experience over these terms will serve her well as she takes on this responsibility. I also make the point about the operation of the convention and the operation of this chamber. This can be a partisan place. We've all been part of that. Uh, but I always regard it as a matter of pride that in this place, uh, these elections, uh, certainly between the parties of government, uh, observe some of the principles that I think matter to our Westminster system. Uh, and uh, both parties of government have always ensured that the party, notwithstanding that neither of us ever has the numbers in our own right, except on one occasion since I've been here, um, always observes um, the, its obligation to the system and to, to the conventions which underpin it, so I thank the Senate. I make another point. Um, I was elected, it is quite a long time ago now, um, as my people keep reminding me, um, <coughs> uh, and I remember the first Senate president um, that I served under uh, was Margaret Reid, uh, and she was uh, the first woman uh, to uh, serve as Senate president, I think between 1996 and 2002, and I acknowledge that it was the coalition who nominated um, uh, uh, the first woman. Um, she held respect and support of all senators, and I'm confident Senator Lyons will do so, uh, and will expect be able to expect the same across the Senate. Uh, and I am uh, very pleased that we see it's taken a long time, uh, but I'm pleased that we see yet another woman serving in this high office. I'm confident Senator Lyons will represent the interests of the Senate and the Parliament as a whole, uh, particularly when it comes to matters of privilege. I'm confident she will join her predecessors as a principal defender of the role and authority of the Senate in relation to the other place. So on behalf of the government, I congratulate you, Senator Lyons. President, we wish you every success in this most important of roles. Senator Birmingham. Thank you, President. And I congratulate you on your election to this very important office within this chamber as President of the Senate. And in doing so, I also acknowledge the long-standing convention in the Senate uh, that uh, the role of uh, the parties of government uh, to nominate uh, the president of the Senate, and I congratulate you on being the nominee uh, of the government uh, and with that enjoying the support uh, of both the government and the opposition to take uh, this place. Uh, I acknowledge uh, particularly the role of former president, Senator Slade Brockman, yeah. and thank Senator Brockman for his all too short service in the chair. Uh, but acknowledge that during that time he discharged his duties with nothing but professionalism, uh, fairness and diligence, uh, and working cooperatively with you then as Deputy President 
uh, as his distinguished predecessor, Senator Scott Ryan, had equally done so. Uh, it is indeed a long period of service that you held as Deputy President that brings you President to this chair with much knowledge and experience of the procedures, processes of the chamber and the other important functions and roles of president uh, that you will now discharge. You do so at a time of a new government, a new parliament and a new Senate. And with that, it's important that all of us remember the very special responsibilities that fall upon you as president uh, to this Senate and to all senators in the fulfilling of those duties, to ensure the proper functioning of this chamber uh, to ensure that the dignity of this chamber is upheld. These are duties in, that also fall upon each and every one of us in our conduct that we bring to this place, and I hope that all senators will work to make sure that you, the deputy, uh, and those who hold the chair from time to time uh, are all supported so much as possible in that role. It is also important that the role provide every opportunity for each senator to advance their issues of concern, uh, for each senator uh, to be freely able to debate, to challenge and to contest ideas across this chamber, to scrutinise the government of the day within the full limits of the standing orders and to have the freedom and opportunity to be able to do so. We wish you well uh, in your service. Uh, we acknowledge indeed uh, that you follow in a long line of uh, successful presidents uh, and the particular role as the first woman uh, to hold this office from the Australian Labor Party. Uh, following Senator Margaret Reid, uh, who had such distinguished service uh, as a Liberal senator in this place and as president. Uh, in wishing you success, we offer you our support for the office, uh, for you to be a strong, fair and independent presiding officer in this place. Thank you, Senator Thank you. Birmingham. Senator Waters. Thanks very much, President. On behalf of the Australian Greens, we offer you our congratulations for fulfilling the role um, of President of the Senate, and um, we uh, look forward to a very productive parliament. We are, of course, saddened that our magnificent First Nations woman, Senator Dorinda Cox, is not uh, sitting up there, and we hope that as the chamber continues to become more diverse, that some of these conventions uh, that support the two-party system can also uh, diversify and evolve. And, uh, we look forward to a parliament that truly represents the community, uh, including the echelons of those uh, decision-making roles. But we give our heartfelt congratulations to you and particularly recognise you as the first Labor woman um, to fill that chair. And we wish you all the best and we hope that this parliament can address the challenges that the nation faces. Thank you, Senator Waters. If there are no further speakers, the Senate will now suspend. Oh, beg your pardon, I call Senator Wong. Uh, thank you, President. I wish to inform senators that the Governor-General would be pleased to receive the President and senators in the Members' Hall at 2.30 p.m. Thank you, Senator Wong, and I think it's now appropriate for me to suspend the Senate. <laughs> thank you, senators. I've got my pink plate.